Oh yeah, we are back y'all to psychic workout and tarot card readings. I'm pulling a couple tarot cards while I'm working out for all of us, okay? But what we're going to do now, I'm going to jump right on into, uh, I just let a little fart out and it was really smelly. I just thought I'd share that with you guys. It happens. Hey, it happens y'all. All righty. Grow up. I'm not an adult. I'm adult-ish. Anyways, let's work out. <laughs> Incline dumbbell presses. I could have not said that, but I just thought it was funny. Incline dumbbell presses. All right. Hammer curls to front raises, finishing with an overhead dumbbell press. All righty? All righty then. And thank you for someone who just liked one of my videos. I'm going to adjust this like so. That works. Let's do it. All right. Uh, my camera's off a little bit, but you know what? I already got the weights in my hand. We can bear with this, or I can fix it in post. Ooh. Come on. Video brought to you by Ken Master. Not really. I just, uh, I think they will uh, sponsor me one day. Come on. Uh, soon. That's why I use it. I love the app. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Let's go. Twenty. Three more. Three more. Get it. One more. All the way. Oh, that's awesome. Woo! Really great work. Great stretch. Upper chest is feeling it. I'm gonna adjust just a tiny bit here, y'all. Look at that. Less than two minutes took me to do that. I just saw a sparkly being walk right behind the camera here. Still there, standing there, staring. I love you guys. The stars, baby. Little sparkly stars. Let me know in the comments if you see those. You can soft gaze as well. Or you can do this. And kind of focus on your peripheral. And you'll see us walking by and sparkling. I just see it right in front of me. Whew. You know what? Hold on. I'm going to start with this. I'll start with these plates. One more, one more. Get it. Come on. Uh, one more, one more. Yeah, hold up. That I don't mind doing a low number with. So I'm doing a lot of shoulder work today. But now I will go to these for hammer curls. Come on, get it up. Yeah. One more, one more. Up. Yeah. Uh. Woo. One at a time. Uh, that's all. That's all she got right there. That's all we got on that one. So. We're going to adjust this, and it gives us a little moment in between here. Actually, I can leave that there and put this right here. It gives me a little breather as well. Huh. Come on. Uh, huh. Yeah. One, two. Let's do it. Not done yet, everybody. Hold on. I've already shuffled it a bunch of times here before we started. Five of coins. Okay. All right. Not a great card when it comes to coins, right? When I think of that card, what comes to my head is uh, the Angel Tarot deck where you might be in a little lack, 
of coins. But you know what? Five of coins is better than no coins. And in that deck as well, I see the angels behind working with you. This may be a moment now for you that you need to know. Uh-uh. Not for long. Not for long. Not for long. You will prosper. Check it out. Wait one second. We'll split again. Six of wands because you've got the magic. You've got the touch. You've got the power. And you're moving. This To me, six is a moving, a balance card of magic. Believe. Believe in your magic. And all will go well and prosper. I'm hearing we're proud of you for not being afraid to say something that may not have been so positive about the five of coins. And the five of coins in this deck may mean something else, but be grateful for the coins you have. And with that, like Jack and the Beans, man, it's gonna prosper. It's gonna prosper more than you'll ever know. You're already planting that seed. You're already planting that seed. You're getting the golden goose. It's come to y'all. It's come to y'all. Oh, it's coming to y'all. Round one done. Moving Welcome back to, to One two. Take Wonders, psychic channeling and tarot readings, y'all, and workouts, psychic workouts. Um, I, I was called to go to the book for the cards I just pulled. Trust myself. Trust my abilities. Check this out. So the last cards we just pulled, there was five of coins, which was eh, and the six of wands. And you saw my message. You know. Check it out. Five of coins. And I usually don't like pulling the book because I didn't go through this spiritual awakening to read other people's book, you know what I'm saying? To read my own book, unless I'm really drawn to that book. Maybe like a Dolores Cannon book or something like that. So the five of coins, material struggle, whether related to work issues, health problems, overspending, partnership or family loyalties, loss, disadvantage, recovery from ruin, hell yeah. Potential to reverse a bad trend. Ooh, potential to reverse a bad trend. That's what we're doing. That's really resonating with me. But then we pulled the six of wands. And what did I say? What did I say? You know better than me because it just comes to me. I didn't know. I never read this book, but I was drawn to just go look at it real quick. Six of wands. Good news. Well-earned victory. Hopes and expectations fulfilled. Public honors. Success that builds future success. Honest. Discussion needed where... There has been doubt or apprehension. Ooh, honest discussion where there has been doubt or apprehension. That's the magic. That's the true magic. How many of you feel when you're manifesting and you're saying these things and you don't feel like, oh, I hope, I hope it works, I hope it works. I am, and it is going to work. I know it. Again, I heard go to the book, which I do, normally don't do. I nailed it, okay? Maybe not exactly detailed specific, but really, come on. You know it. Am I talking, am I convincing myself or you guys, Right? High fives. We rock that out. Thank you, sparkly friends walking around back there. Let's work out, everybody. <clears throat> I'm going to grab a little water. I knew it, too. I nailed it. I nailed it. Trust in your abilities, everybody. Trust in your abilities. You're going to surprise yourself. And those psychics out there, trust it. There are no false prophets, y'all. Just different communication. That's it. I do believe in if you say you can't do it, then you can't. If you say you can, then you will. You'll find that way to make it work. You can Selma Hayek it, is what I'm going to say. Mexican, not a Mexican. Thank you, Selma, for inspiring us all. And you're a beautiful Latina. Oh, como te siete soy bien y tú. I am a gringo, uh, but I understand Spanish, even though I'm very... Uh, it's not what, usted form instead of familiar. Whatever. We're trying. All doing the best we can, right? Remember when you were learning English? Exactly. We help one another. All right. Actors, baby. I love them. Beautiful women as well. All right. Let's focus, everybody. I'm going to do a Latina reading. I'm going to do a Latina reading. I know I am. Come on. Oh. Here we go. Uh. Whew. One, two, up. Oh. Come on. Keep going. Get it. Uh, not done. Two more. Two more. Get it up. Uh, one more. One more. All the way. Yep. Uh, nice. Nice. Whew. Whew. 
right? What are you talking about, bro? I'm gonna bring you up just a little bit here. One more, one more. Get it up. Yeah. Woo. Biceps are feeling it. Come on, get it up. Yeah. Come on. One more. Yep. And again, I do not mind doing a much lighter set with that. I'm sorry, lighter reps with that. One more. Get it up. Uh, whew. And yeah, sometimes the arm can just give. And not in a bad way. Just you've done what you got to do. Trust that as well. Whew. I have two. Here we go. All right. I'm here, one bite, everybody knows the rules. You inspire me, Dave, you inspire me. Sometimes you just gotta keep going. Know when to rest. Know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Because when you know that, with your psychic abilities, you're gonna win every time. And it's not giving up at all. It's like you know when to call for that card, y'all. Let's go. Oh, what a funny channeling that was. Come on, get it. Get it. Oh, two more, two more. Yep. One more, one more. All the way up, all the way up. Come on. One more. All the way. Get it. Yes. Oof. Woo. Huh. I want to pull a card, but I'm really tired. I'm going to take this moment. No one to hold them, right? And we'll start that final round of this exercise with a card. All right, welcome back, everybody. So I was about to shuffle when these two cards, when I split the deck. We did four cups earlier, so that's like, a, watch the part one of this. And then we talked about this. Uh, but really, I'm drawn to the high priestess. Yes, you are psychic, right? You are psychic. This is a psychic reading to me, a psychic card. Remember, um, when I know the writer, her character in Beetlejuice, that's what this is based on. Uh, she's the one who could see the ghost see the spirits in like corporeal form. You might be even better than me at it. Let me know in the comments, y'all. You're gonna be a little scared, but you're not. It's like you got the book and you understand, right? Uh, some of you are gonna feel your call like a Beetlejuice type thing. Beetlejuice also a galactic constellation. Also ancient pharaohs with the scarab. That's also a beetle, life, death. That's the process we're going through, y'all. That's the process. Some of you might be in a death. That's where this four, four cups might be coming from here. Um, but know that you've got the power and the red and the pomegranate. Remember, what are pomegranates? The fruit of the fruit of the gods, baby. You already had the fruit of the gods. What's that on her head? I think it's a crow. I don't. It's not a crow. It's probably it's a priestess crown. But I'm seeing a crow. Remember, mysticism, magic, power, omens. Omens is just another word, right? For spirituality, for the signs, for psychic abilities. I know we hear the word. Ooh, no. People think that about tarot too. It's just divination. Uh, I always say I can take a big shit on the floor and I can read it. I don't want to, and that's gross, but you get what I'm saying, right? I just see it. I see it in the paneling on the wall. I see it in the weights. I'll see it on my body, on my arms sometimes, like numbers. So I am the power. I am the priestess. You are the priestess as well. I see a half moon over here. I mean, you've almost figured it all out, right? You're not fully into the secrets or the exposed or I'll say the occults or spirituality, but you're right there. You're right there. You've done the detective work. It comes to you naturally as well. Some of you, I'm getting the Winona Ryder too, that like when she went and stole things, she didn't need to. She didn't know she was lacking. And I'm not saying you're stealing things, but you, you have this thing, you, you're searching and it gives you this, this, this feeling of excitement, right? And uh, you don't know why you do it. Dwayne Johnson did that in his early life too. Yeah. You're almost there. Quit stealing things. You don't need to take them. You don't know my financial situation. It's going to get better. We've already covered that. It's going to get so much better. It's about to be a full moon, okay? 
Okay? Let me know in the comments, too, what the half moon means, y'all. But it's about to be a full moon, meaning you're going to see it. You're going to see all the secrets, all the light. You're the priestess. You're the magician. You're the magic. You're writing your own book. Okay? Or the book of secrets is coming to you. The spirituality. Yeah? It's within you already. It's within you already. Red. Red. Your root chakra. I told you, your finances are getting better. Better, better, and better. Alrighty? Like her career, Winona Ryder, some of you had to go through the dip, right? But don't. But you're about to stranger things it, aren't you? Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years, and what a perfect choice, an 80s actor to do an 80s TV show. Well, based in the 80s, right? And her career is flourishing now. We all go through these things. We have to learn, right? Now, why she had to learn that? Uh, stealing things or with you? Why do we choose to do it? Choose to do the right thing. It's usually the harder thing to do. Um, not always. Usually it's the easiest thing to do. Know thyself. You know the right answer, everybody. You are the high priestess. We are the psychic ones together. We are the spiritualists. We are, we are the sexy ones. Woo, that's what I'm hearing. You know it. You know it. I'm not going to dwell on this four of cups. Because right now we're going to lift some weights. All right. All this on an empty stomach, by the way, y'all. That is, that is amazing to me. Because I used to thrive on eating. And look at the pump. My pump's looking great, right? I want to pump you up. Let's adjust this. And as Arnold said, the most satisfying feeling in the gym is the pump. When the blood rushes to the muscles, it's as satisfying to me as uh, having sex with the woman and coming. Can you imagine how much I'm in heaven? I'm coming all the time. I'm not going to finish it. But what an interesting way to look at something, okay? Yes, I know he has a, a, a very playful side, right? But again, David did too in the Bible, didn't he? Interesting, right? His life is very biblical. His son's name is Joseph, the one who is the whole thing. That's a biblical name. There's a reason for everything. God loves every single one of us. Divine beings love every single one of us. Even the things you're afraid of. You call What are they called? The hag something. They love you. It's a part of who you are and your ascension. So now when you get to where I am and you're not afraid of these beings, we love you too. Uh, it's not that we move on. We just don't have to be as, as prevalent, maybe. But now we know that Patrick, and maybe you guys, don't mind seeing us and speaking with us. And I'm hearing trickery. Will they trick? Again, know thyself. Am I inviting him in? What, am I going to cancel him out somehow? Right? And they aren't Kevin Spacey, that's for damn sure. Not, you know? We kind of do what we want, right? But again, if that's something you're afraid of, and you're just looking at the demon part of it, what about the angels? What about your guardian angels? What about the divine beings around you? What are they not doing their job? No. We all work as one. We are a team. The, the cosmic law of one. I don't like saying law because that means something different here in the, in the in Earth, United States. But yes, we are all one. We are all part of the divine. We are all divine beings. Ooh, I felt like you wanted to come through and say something else. There. I'm sorry I, I fought that a little bit. All right, let's work out. Who? Who? Loving it. One, two, bring it on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, more than that. Get it, get it. Yeah, two more, two more. Up. One more, one more, all the way. Great stretch, great stretch. Get it up. One more, one more. Come on now. Get it up. Yeah. Nice. Woo. All right. I'm going to move this up a little bit. Right there. And for the stripper watching, good for you. You do you. God loves you. Divine loves you. You've got the power inside. You know who you are. Don't be afraid to comment. You're beautiful and you know it. Come on, come on, two more, two more, get it, end up, what's it, Hamas, you're right, you're absolutely right, I didn't know why I was hearing Hamas a month ago, or months ago, years ago, and now I know, just like what I'm hearing right now for you, I don't know who's watching this, who's drawn to it, but I know I'm, I'm delivering a message for you, and I love you all, and I know you love me too, come on. I love lifting weights here. Come on. Two more. 
Come on, up. Uh, I remember. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Front raises, thank you. Get it up, yeah. You know, especially in my modeling days, in my best shape, I was like, I'll go strip a bunch of ladies, you know, woo, thinking it's fun and all that. We stopped me from it because I had this to do. Not that we're mad at any of you for doing it. We knew Patrick had a, a bigger destiny. We all have a bigger destiny. Remember that, we do, we do. And man, it's crazy than you think. It happens in such a crazy way seeing all the divine beings that walk around, okay? My third eye opening, miracles. I've seen miracles, like biblical miracles, galactic beings, angels, things you might would call a demon. I don't think they are, but I've had to know myself and I love them all, I love all of it. We transmute the energy. So for that stripper, for all of you watching, love thyself love thyself be proud of what you're doing and knowing that it won't be forever and if it's money save all that money come on come on you don't have to go down the, the route the road the other things that may come with it actually use it to uh, build your education go to school whatever you want read tarot as well come on uh, Anita Serene she was a stripper I think so it was uh Flavor Vivid, C Cassie, Cassandra, you know who you are. Whew. Come on, get it up! Yeah! Mary Magdalene, y'all. I'll say that right there. Mary Magdalene. Whew! <clears throat> it's all about love, everybody. Also, something about horses I'm hearing right now. Not whores, horses. Adrian, Redheads, hey, how you doing? Yo, Adrian. All these things mean something specific to me, but are going to mean something completely different to you. Let me know in the comments what is resonating with you and why. I would love to know. We're a team. I can only get better and more confident when we're working together. When I do personal readings, please know I'll never reach out to you. Okay? I will set something up. Like you can email me or something like that. I will never come to you. I will have you guys come to me. All right. And I don't mean that like I'm super special, but I do not. There's, you know what I mean? Other people, they'll take your, your content and then try to like, you need a reading. I will never do that at all. I will set something up so you can come to me, <clears throat> excuse me, unless you know me personally. Right. And then you can call me. But with that said, dumbbell press time. <clears throat> Third and final set here, y'all. Love it. Spirit never gets tired. One, two, bring it home. Dolores Cannon. Come on. Come on. Get it. Three more. Get it. Yeah. One more, one more, one more. All the way up. Yeah. Woo. Oh. And everybody, that is it for this round of workouts. I'll start a whole new set of uh, workouts and a whole new video. So this is where you leave me. Guys, I love you. I love you. I love you. Please like, share, and subscribe. But I highly recommend watching the, uh, the next two sets of, uh, of workout as well. You'll love it, I promise. Check you later.